Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. In today's video, we are back out at Wayne Fryer in McClendon, Florida. Today we are going to be touring this gorgeous, gorgeous double wide manufactured home by Live Oak Homes, which is called the Savannah. You know, when I think of Savannah, I think of the, the state of Georgia, of course. So good old Savannah, Georgia. So. Anyway, so this is the Savannah. So this is a four bedroom, three bathroom, multi-section home. So with that being said, let's start the tour. All right, you guys, so this is the Savannah. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom, multi-section home. So it's actually a two bathroom. I'll get you all a view of the outside here. Okay. I really like the dormer over the uh, front door and the window areas. Love the storm door. Now I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can't see it, but it does. It does have a metal roof. So uh, if you're into metal roofs, hey, this house definitely has it. Let me slow down here. So this is how it looks from another angle. All right, so again, here's some additional information of the home. And uh, feel free to pause the video if you wanna look at it further. All right, so let's take a look around the back. I will make it easy for you now. It's up my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it tomorrow Alright, so guys, so this is the back of the home This is how the back of the savannah would look uh, Let's take a look at the utilities All right, so right here you have your outside plug-in outlet. I guess you'd have some type of drain outlet. You have your vent for your dryer. Of course, your back door. This gets you all a good look on the outside. Just watch me break it. Let's go inside and see what the Savannah, Georgia, or should I say the Savannah has to offer. Now, before we continue on, I just want to give a very short disclaimer. I do not sell these homes and I do not work for the dealership or the manufacturer of these homes. I record these videos because I love and enjoy touring these homes and I love sharing all the homes that I view with each and every one of you. If you have any additional questions about finding this home or pricing or additional specifications, the dealership's contact information will be down in the description box. Thank you.
All right, so as soon as we step in, the first thing I noticed, you have a very nice entryway. Look at this. As soon as you come in, you can hang your car keys right there or hang your jackets or whatever you got. And you would also have this very nice stained glass door as well. All right, so this is your entryway. Get y'all the slow pan at the ceiling. Okay. So here's some additional information about Savannah. Again, you can pause the video if you want to look at it. Okay. And you would also have your floor plan right here. All right. So perfect place. For, you can also, uh, you know, this wouldn't be here when you buy the home, but you know, you can put like a very nice entry table right there uh, with a lamp. At least that's what I would do. And another thing I love about this, you would have a, a dedicated coat closet. Look at here. Now this is um, just uh, extra accessories that they have. They have to have a place to store the stuff until the home is sold to the customer. But once it's sold to the customer, all that will be put in its place. So very nice coat closet. Just imagine putting your coats in there. I certainly can. All right, so let's take a look at the living room here. Look at this gorgeous living room. Let me just give you all a moment to take in this living room space. All right, let's look at it from another angle. As you can see, they have a huge, huge sectional in this uh, living room area. Look at all those big windows and look at the transom windows. Lots of natural light in the daytime. Wow, look at there, you guys. Look at there. Plenty of space to sit down and relax. Now, what you have right here be a nice entertainment center. I really love the blue uh, shiplap that they would have surrounding it. Very, very striking. And of course, you have all the uh, nice knickknacks right there. You can, uh, for it to uh, store, um, you know, DVDs or VH VHS tapes. I mean, hey, if people even have VHS tapes anymore. <laughs> well, you can definitely store DVDs and uh, uh, PlayStation games and all that stuff right there. Let's get you guys some look at a cabinet space right there. And of course you got plenty of space up there for decorations and decor. Get you all one more view and then we'll check out the dining room in the kitchen. All right, let's check out the dining room right here. Look at this dining room. Look at the blue accent tray ceiling. Look at there. You know, I never thought of the color blue, but they've, 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 it goes, it's very tasteful. It goes very nicely and very tasteful in this home. But remember you guys, the colors that you see here, you know, if you don't like the colors, remember you can uh, mix up, you can mix up the colors into your heart's desires while you're ordering the home. Now, if you choose to buy this particular lot model, but you would have to, you would have to go with what's here, but you know, later on down the road, you can always change it. Once you have the home in your possession, you can always change it. So, but I personally love this blue color. It's very nice. I really love the, uh, the light smoky gray color as a uh, accent piece, accent wall. So another um, good look at this beautiful dining room. You have your beautiful chandelier. Very nice indeed. And this is a six seater right here. I really, really like this. Yeah, this is nice. This is a this Savannah is very it's bad to the bone. It really is <laughs> bad to the bone. All right. So this is your kitchen area. Look at this kitchen. Look, this just taking a second to soak in this gorgeous kitchen. Again, they carried the blue shiplap on the, uh, around the bottom of the center island area. And I love the uh, earthy gray tones of the um, butcher counter countertop that they would have. You can sit right here and have a nice cup of coffee or some 
or your favorite tea in the morning. Oh, I really like this. Anybody want some fruit? It's free. Free fruit for you. <laughs> free fruit. Wow, look at that. Let's take a look underneath the cabinets. All right, cabinet space. All right, and you have your um, stove right here. Excuse me, I was lost in thought for a second. So you have your stove right here, your stove area. Love the European style hood frame. Yeah, very nice. And of course you would have light underneath there when it's all connected, so. Uh, you have your nice countertops here as well. It goes well with the center island. Again, love the towel backsplash. Let's look at a couple of cabinet spaces here. Cabinet space there. Cabinet space there. All right, let's take a look at some cabinet space over here. Cabinet space here and drawer space right here. All right, we'll look in there in a second. And additional cabinet space. Over here be your sink area. Get y'all a second to take that in. Again, I love the towel backsplash. And then of course they'd have a nice uh, farm style sink right there. Again, you can look out the window while you're doing the dishes. Cabinet space. Another kitchen view from another angle. I know it's not about appliances, but I always like to take a look. All right. Let's check over here and we'll see what this space is. Let's check over here. Ooh, check this out, you guys. I was not expecting this. Look at here. Look at here. This is a butler's pantry right here. Look at this cabinet space. I was not expecting this at all. Look at here. Got cabinet space here. And I love the matching countertop that they would have throughout the rest of the kitchen that this would have. And they also carried the towel backsplash too. Let's look at some cabinet space right here. Sorry. There you go. Let me do a slow pan so you can see this better. Look at that. Look at that. Plenty of space. You could actually put like a you could put like a, um, well, I don't know. Maybe you could. You could put like an additional small appliance in here. Yeah, I really like this. And of course, cabinet space. Get y'all a view from another angle here. You guys see that? All right. This is a nice pan. This is a very nice addition. All right, let's check and see what's over here. We're already 12 minutes into the video. I haven't even looked at the bedroom yet, so let's keep it moving here. So this right here, this would be your utility room. Look at this nice utility room. This is a nice long utility room. You have a window right there. You have cubby space right there. If you know, if you have a busy family, you can hang like raincoats and jackets and anything, rain boots. It's so whatever you got. Get you all of you from another angle. Of course, that's your back door. This will be your washer and dryer area. Let's get y'all look at some cabinet space. I know you guys look at like look at cabinets. Okay. All right, so you have additional cubby space right there. That's very nice. 
You know, I, I personally, I, I would definitely take advantage of all the storage space that I possibly can. And of course, I know some of you guys asked about this. Hey, you have a, a utility sink. See, I used to call this a soaker sink, but it's really a utility sink. And they have the back black hardware too. That's nice. And this is a deep sink, you guys. Look, look at how look at how it reaches all the way up to my elbow. Deep, deep sink. All right, give you all another look. All right. All right, guys, so let's move on to the bedrooms. And of course, that would be your electric box right here. All right, let's go check out the bedrooms. So we're going to start down here first. All right, so this is your hallway. That's your hallway. All right, so they would have a little space right here. You put like a desk. Look at there. Little space for a desk. You know, kids, they can do their homework or they can study or, you know, you know, get a computer for them. They can do their homework on a computer as well. But me personally, I don't know if I would need the space. That's just me. I don't know if I would need it. I would probably I don't know if I could opt for it, but I would probably opt out of this and uh, I'd probably opt for like a um, linen closet. Maybe take the linen closet all the way up to here because you don't want to take it too far because you would have your central heat and air furnace right there. So you don't want to take it too far. But all in all, this is a very nice area. Very nice area. All right, let's check out this bathroom right here. So this would be the hallway guest bathroom. Very nice bathroom. Oh, look at that. Very impressive. Let me stand back to get you guys a good feel for this. You even have a, a little area right there. You can put like a little bench for, you know, for the ladies, a um, little makeup station. So, of course, there's your drawer space. Again, they have the matching countertop and a towel backsplash. And of course, you would have your uh, mirrors. You would have your vanity lighting. Look at all that vanity lighting. Love these mirrors. You have your double sinks right here. Deep double sinks, look at there. And I guess, again, they have the matching hardware that you would see in the utility room. And of course you have your plug-in outlet there as well. More additional drawer space. Cabinet space. Get you guys one more look. Wow, this is so pretty. This is very impressive. This is a large bathroom. And I love the fact that they have a door right here. And they also have a door right here. So if two or three people are getting ready at one time, two people can be in there brushing their teeth or doing their hair. And the other person can be in here uh, taking a bath or doing whatever they have to do to get ready for today. Very nice. So this is the inside part of the, this bathroom. You have your LED light up there. You have an exhaust uh, fan. You have cabinet space right here. Get you guys a general idea. All right. Now this uh, bathroom doesn't have, doesn't have a, um, it doesn't have a, shot, um, a, a tub, but it does have a walk-in shower. Very nice walk-in shower. Plenty of space in the shower. And of course you'd have that up there. Your uh, transom window and your shower head. Plenty of space to sit. This, so, so far, the Savannah is a very impressive home. Very impressive manufactured home. All right, well, we got more house to look at, so let's keep it moving here. Get you guys one more look. There you go. All right. Let's go check out the rest of the house. 
All right, so we're gonna start with this bedroom right here. This will be your first bedroom. I'm gonna keep this very brief. Get y'all a view from another angle. All right, let's check out the closet. Get y'all a slow pan. I don't want to make you dizzy. All right, let's go check out the other rooms. All right, so we're entering bedroom number two. Very nice. All right, let's check out the closet. And one thing I noticed about this house, it would have the full sheetrock on the outside like the rest of the house, but the closets would have the, um, the paper drywall with the uh, batten strips. Very nice. Again, you know, it's a closet. It doesn't matter, you know, so you're not really gonna see it most of the time. But again, you know, if I had to choose, the, if I had to go with the batten strips, I, the walls with the batten strips, I would definitely do it. My opinion is just as adorable, just as durable as a full regular drywall. So and they both last for a very long time. All right, let's go check out the other bedroom. Then we'll check out the master. All right. Entering bedroom number three. Get y'all a slow pan. Slow pan right here. All right, let's get you a view from another angle. All right, let's check out the closet. Oh yeah, I noticed you would have your water heater access uh, right here. So be right behind this panel in the third bedroom if you're wondering where the water heater is. So it'll be right there. All right, well, let's go check out the master, you guys. But if you are new here, and if you like these types of videos, um, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell anytime I upload videos like this. If any of that really interests you, welcome to our family. We're very happy to have you. And definitely like the videos, guys, if you love these videos. It really helps out the channel. And I really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you. So with that being said, let's go check out the master bedroom. All right, so we are now entering the master bedroom. This is your master, you guys. Look at this gorgeous master. So this is a big master, you guys, and my voice, it echoes in this room. <laughs> Definitely echoes in the room. Nice ceiling fan. Let's get y'all a view from another angle and then we'll check out the closet in the bathroom. All right. I love all the windows that they have here too. And I love the fact that they carried the tile flooring in the master as well. Now the other bedrooms, they'll have carpet, but the master has the wood flooring. All right, let's take a look at the closet here. Sorry, there is no light, but it's, it's plenty enough light where you can see. Plenty of space in this master closet. And I love the fact that they have the wood shelves right there too. I'll probably take like an extra wood shelf and I'll bring it over here. So plenty of space in this master closet. Very impressive indeed. All right, let's take a look at the master bathroom and then we'll close out the video. So this is your master bathroom, you guys. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I am talking about. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous this is. Wow. 
Wow, this is amazing. All right, so they carried the beautiful uh, shiplap wall around the mirrors and the Hollywood vanity lighting. You know what? This blue reminds me a lot of the blue paneling in the Blue Ridge, which is also a live oak home model. If you are interested in viewing the Blue Ridge, I did that, I, I did that video tour two years ago here at Wayne Fryer of McClinney. So if you are interested in that video, I'll put the link up in the iCard above. You can watch this. But the interior is very similar to the interior of the Blue Ridge. So of course you have your double sinks here. All right. Of course, you have your drawer space. I know you guys like looking at drawers. All right, let's take a look over here. Again, you have your, um, your uh, what's it called? And they give it like an age look, your um, stained um, shiplap right there. So and it surrounds the uh, windows. Hey, the windows have blinds too, so that's definitely a plus. <laughs> And of course you have your beautiful soaker tub, garden tub. Get y'all a look at the ceiling right here. Slow pan. All right, let's check this space out. And of course right here will be your commode. So you have a, a water closet for your commode. And of course, if you don't wanna see it, all you have to do is shut the door. That's simple. Out of sight, out of mind. All right, let's check out this uh, tub right here. The shower, excuse me. Look at this beautiful tile shower. Look at it here. Again, you guys know I have to touch it. Look at that. I wish you were really here to feel how this uh, tile shower feels. And this hand-laid tile, and this is truly hand-laid tile. And of course, you have your Rainmaker shower head. And you would also would have a bench. Very nice. I like that a lot, very, very nice. Very, very impressive home indeed. Get you one more look. All right, let me stand in here so you can see how it looks from the shower area. You could be right here taking a shower and, and do what you have to do. This is a gorgeous bathroom. Overall, a very nice manufactured home. All right, you guys, so that was the Savannah by Live Oak Homes. If you are interested in this home, definitely contact the dealership. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Again, I do not work here. I do not sell these homes. I only tour and review the homes. And I love sharing all the homes that I view with each and every one of you. So again, if you're interested, definitely contact the dealership. All right, you guys, well, it's time for us to move on to the next house of tour. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for manufactured modular home tours and more. I will see you all in the next video. You all take care and have a wonderful day.
Just watch me break